What's up everybody? OMMP Grower coming to you live from Oregon and today we're going to be discussing security as shown in the September 2011 issue of High Times Magazine. Now something that I often see on YouTube and personally when I go around and visit other people's gardens is they spend a lot of money on lighting, air conditioning, humidifiers, dehumidifiers, res tanks, pumps, drip lines, all this good stuff, but they don't buy security. Security is very important. Not only does it give you the peace of mind that allows you to sleep at night or possibly feel good, but it also allows you to check it at any time from a smartphone um, or any uh, land-based computer that has internet access if you wish to hook that up. I personally don't have mine hooked up to the internet. I just have it hooked up straight to my TV in my house so I can watch it at any time. Um, some people feel that if you hook it up wirelessly to the internet, then um, people can hack in and view your stuff, and I don't want that. The only difference between my system and the system that the High Times Magazine showed in their issue is they went with the 500 gigabyte DVR system with the four cameras, which I did too, but I went with one pan tilt zoom camera and three standard cameras which I personally think is the better choice, and one extra camera with audio for the outside, which is this one right here. So when people come to the door, I can see who they are and I can talk to them. Hey, Badger, what's going on, buddy? Good boy. Why don't you go in the house? Why don't you go in the house? All right. So here's the Swan DVR system 500, uh, 500 gigabyte system, which is good enough for me. It can record up to 120 days. Um, everything is hooked up wired so all the wires from the cameras run up to the attic across the attic into my main house down through my closet and into my bedroom TV which is right here the pan tilt zoom camera is really nice um, because you can zoom around look all around corners check on your back door your front doors whatever the case may be the pan tilt zoom camera is awesome you can set it up to constantly rotate, so it's kind of like a roving guard. It just always moves back and forth, back and forth recording. The reason why I don't have mine set up that way is just because I'm afraid it might wear it out, the mechanics of it. So I don't personally have it set up that way. But the number one thing to stress, guys, is security. Let's stop buying more lights. Let's stop showing off our drip lines and all this other stuff. Let's get security and let's protect what we have and protect what we've invested in. 